your life so we can start namaste to all present here today indeed is a memorable day in the history of shastra so may we commence the day's proceedings with an invocation to the almighty मैत्री भजत अखिल जेत्रे मैत्री भजत अखिल जेत्रे मैत्री भजत अखिल जेत्रे आत्मदेव परा पश्यत आत्मदेव परा पश्यत युद्ध त्यजत स्पर्धा त्यजत युद्ध त्यजत स्पर्धा त्यजत त्यजत परे क्रम क्रम त्यजत परे क्रम क्रम मैत्री भजत अखिल जेते मैत्री भजत अखिल जेते जननी पृथ्वी काम दुघाते जननी पृथ्वी काम दुघाते जनको देव सकल जाड़ो जनको देव सकल जाड़ो दाम्यत दत्त दयध जनता दाम्यत दत्त दयध जनता श्रेय भूजा सकल जना request our esteemed vice chancellor dr s vaidya subramanian to present the welcome address a very good morning and uh, vijaya dasami greetings to all present for this morning's event uh, with shrimati ms subalakshmi maitri bajata forming an appropriate backdrop by way of an invocation to this event i wholeheartedly welcome the distinguished chief guest for the day mr t v narendran md and ceo of tata steel other members from the family of tata steel the tata group my own faculty colleagues and other distinguished members who are watching this event online a warm welcome to all of you on behalf of the shastra family and on my personal behalf we are extremely happy to have mr narendran doing the honors for the event by way of dedicating what we call the uh, twin tower at shastra though separated by considerable distance uh, one is the integrated academic block named the jayendra vihar and the other students home named vinaya the students hostel and the timing cannot be more appropriate than today being vijayadashami which signals the beginning of anything new and this new facility we sincerely hope will definitely begin a new chapter in the learning life of shastra students while they are here because the integrated academic block here 
continues the legacy of the institution's philosophy in blending an interdisciplinary approach towards research and teaching. And for the benefit of Mr. Narendran, we already have an integrated research park, uh, two big buildings, which was inaugurated by Mr. Chandrasekharan when he was the CEO of TCS at that point of time. And the spirit of interdisciplinarity we are now extending towards teaching. And this integrated academic block is hence a symbolic representation of how teaching also needs to be converging on the emerging paradigm of interdisciplinary coursework. And this perfectly aligns with the new education policy 2020. And the student's home is also to meet the growing demands of this generation of learners. And these two buildings, the integrated block and the student's home, each of which constructed over an area of four lakh square feet. So the composite is eight lakhs at a total project value of close to 160 crores is now ready to be dedicated to the nation. And we are extremely happy as much as the integrated academic block is going to be the intellectual backbone of this university. The infrastructural backbone for both these blocks has been Tata Steel. On that count, we are extremely happy to welcome Mr. Narendran and we are thankful for accepting our invitation to dedicate this facility to the nation. Welcome you, sir, and welcome all distinguished members for this wonderful event this morning. Thank you very much. Sir. Thank you, sir. Now for the most awaited moment, we cordially invite our guest of honor, Mr. T. V. Narendran, CEO and Managing Director, Tata Steels, to dedicate these buildings to the nation. Thank you, sir, for gracing the occasion. Now for a brief virtual tour of our infrastructure. A truly great university is a nucleus of artistic expression fostering creative critical thought. The grandiose vision of an artistic expression and unflinching academic commitment at Shastra University come alive today with a sprawling edifice standing testimony to its excellence. We now enter the Knowledge Resource Center, an innovation hub that provides seamless access to resource, facilitating integrative scholastic pursuit and enlivened by the serene presence and spirit of Goddess Saraswati, who dispels the darkness of ignorance. The library, the nerve center of the university, has a collaborative digital library collection with a digital media section, cubicles for project discussions, and for group discussions. The first floor of the library fuels the imagination and inspires its readers to explore, achieve, and contribute to the knowledge space. The library's first floor has a variety of facilities, including a subject-based stack area, hosting some of the best books in the world and an air-conditioned 300-seater space for ambient reading.
specific reading rooms, discussion rooms. Make this thousand seater library space a great gift to voracious readers. As one moves through a series of transparent walls, elegant bookshelves and glass structures, and the ambient view of the soccer field, one knows that this library is definitely a spectacle. Beyond the 35,000 square feet elegant library space, are also structured buildings for the School of Computing, Research and Innovation, and industry-sponsored research laboratories set up by industry giants. These buildings have smart classrooms, lecture theatre complexes, comprising state-of-the-art infrastructure. All the three buildings have independent auditoria with seating capacity between 300 and 450 with live streaming and recording facilities. All the five buildings have been connected through corridors providing easy access to move across buildings. area of this integrated academic block is 4 lakh square feet and has been built at a cost of 85 crores. The newly built mass of hostel buildings comprise three blocks with the capacity to accommodate 3,500 students. These buildings have spacious, well-lit and ventilated single, three-seater and four-seater rooms with facilities for comfortable stay and study. A spacious dining hall with a seating capacity of 700 and hygienic modern kitchens with steam cooking and cold room facilities are a highlight of these hostels. Taking into account the overall quality of student life, badminton courts, outdoor fitness centers, and elegant open space for interaction and recreation have also been created to offer a variety of experiences to the hostel residents. This initiative will foster creative innovation and a nurturing industrial ecosystem, aligning Shastra University in the top echelons of academic achievements and international standards. Thank you. Now to add real flavor to the event, we now request Mr. T. V. Narendran to deliver his special address. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Vaidya Subramaniam, other distinguished uh, guests, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Firstly, uh, thank you for inviting me uh, to this event. And also thank you for using Tata Steel to create the buildings, beautiful buildings that you've created. Uh, before this event, Dr. By the Subramanian was describing Tata Steel as a nation builder, uh, but in my view, educational institutions are bigger nation builders because we may shape structures and buildings, but you shape minds. And I think, uh, you know, as India, a young 
from a demographic point of view, a young country, and even uh, from a, you know, we are celebrating the 75th year of independence, which is also young from a life of a nation point of view. I, there's a huge opportunity because I think if we've achieved all that we have achieved with only a fraction of the people having access to good quality education, then you can imagine what we can achieve as more and more people have access to good quality education. And I think uh, there are so many brilliant people out there who have not yet been touched by education. And I think our job as a nation, as a community is to really give opportunity to people who have the ability and the capability, but not the opportunity or the means to have education. And I'm glad that more and more educational institutions uh, are coming up. The nature of education has also changed, evolved a lot uh, since the time that I was in school or college. Uh, it creates great opportunities, it creates challenges, but more than anything else, I think uh, the use of technology helps us reach further, reach uh, you know, beyond what is possible in a physical environment. And also increasingly, education does not uh, begin or end with educational institutions, but is a lifelong journey. So how can uh, educational institutions tap into the need for individuals to keep learning even as they go through lives? How can educational institutions teach subjects for the future as much as we study from the past? You know, and how can educational institutions tap into the different abilities different people have? All of us have different ability uh, in a sense that some people have a greater memory for the written word. Some people have a greater memory for the uh, for music, some people have a greater memory for numbers. Some people have a greater memory for uh, you know seeing things, observing things, and it's imprinted in their mind. So oftentimes, uh, educational system focuses on one dimension, and how can we bring in those multiple dimensions uh, into the way we develop uh, individuals? So uh, there is also a great opportunity for us to create. Uh, you know, minds which can think for themselves. Because again, oftentimes educational system uh, does not encourage enough innovative thinking and innovative thinking is required more and more in an environment where things are changing uh, so rapidly. So I think the ability to shape the minds, uh, to uh, be able to think on their own, to constantly seek knowledge, pursue knowledge, build themselves as persons, as uh, professionals, and whatever careers they choose or whatever uh, work they choose to do to contribute back to society, I think is uh, extremely uh, important. Uh, to me, uh, we are at a very uh, crucial time in terms of uh, the opportunities that there are. India is getting more and more integrated into the rest of the world. There are various challenges uh, which the world is facing. Uh, from climate change to inequality and things like that. And I think it's important uh, as educational institutions to prepare students uh, uh, for the future. So I once again, thank you for inviting me. I wish uh, Shastra University all the very best. Thank you once again for uh, uh, buying from Tata Steel and we certainly uh, look forward to a great future for Shastra University. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir, for that extremely pertinent and terse speech. May we now request Dr. S. Swaminathan, Dean Planning and Development, to propose his vote of thanks. Very good afternoon to the Honorable uh, Chief Guest of the Day, uh, Mr. T. V. Narendran, MD and CEO of Tata Steel, uh, the Vice Chancellor, and all the distinguished viewers who are watching this function. On this auspicious Vijay Dasmi Day, the inauguration of the integrated academic block, which has been named Jahendra Vyar, and the hostel blocks, which has been named Vinaya, are yet another milestone in our commitment to provide quality education with the state of the art facilities for teaching and research. As Mr. Narendran said in a short and sweet speech of trying to address students, you know, various learners of multiple abilities, I think these facilities would be the way forward. In fact, the industry academic partnership with the Tata Group has strengthened our resolve that such a symbiotic relationship over the years has only enhanced various aspects of teaching, research, 
and the societal commitment at Shastra. We are extremely thankful for the support that we have enjoyed from the Tata Group for various initiatives like setting up of the cybersecurity labs, establishing the teaching learning center to train school, school teachers in modern pedagogy, the skill development programs, and the latest being the Tata Palkiwala chair on alternate dispute resolution and artificial intelligence. We are also thankful to, to the phenomenal support that we have received from Tata Steel for these two projects. And we look forward to the continued support and patronage in our ongoing and, and future projects also. We strongly believe that these iconic buildings that have been dedicated to the nation today would further strengthen the teaching, research, and innovation ecosystem in the campus, in addition to providing comfortable on-campus living to all learners. We wholeheartedly thank you, sir, for inaugurating these two massive projects today, and we wish to have you in our campus soon. My word of thanks to the Vice Chancellor for championing these uh, projects. We also wish to place on record our sincere thanks to the state government and its various departments for their timely approvals. We also thank the architect of, for the project, OCI Architects Chennai, and the civil contractors, Unicode Construction Chennai, for constructing the integrated academic block, and Arun Exelo for constructing the hostel block. My final word of thanks to the entire team of Shastra, specifically to the civil and electrical departments, uh, headed by Dr. C. Venkata Subramanyam, Raghu, Natarajan, Rajesh, their supervisors, and all the contractors who, who had worked diligently for the last 18 months uh, for the success of this project. Uh, thank you all. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, so thank you very much, and uh, we'll end the live proceedings. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Vedic. Thank, thank you. you very much, sir. We'll stay in touch, sir. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you.